Hello everyone, and welcome back to Addiction Solutions with Roselle. So glad that you could join me for another episode. I am so happy that you guys are getting involved with the videos. And like I say at the beginning of every show, go to YouTube, type on Addiction Solutions with Roselle, and subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, and it's anonymous. So please tell your family, your friends, neighbors, co-workers, church members, that you don't have to be an alcoholic or a drug addict to be addicted. You can be addicted to Oreos, Pepsis, gambling, sex, overeating, shopping, all of these things fall under the category of addiction. And each one of these addictions has a 12-step program. So that's why they are all linked in together so that no one can be confused. Oh, I don't drink. Oh, I don't use drugs. You don't have to. You can still be addicted and it can still be causing problems in your life. So we're going to continue with our 21-point manual. And today we're talking about doing service work. So this manual had 21 chapters. And what I did was gave a title to each chapter and a description. And at the end of the chapter, I gave a, uh, you know, just a quote, an inspirational quote to try to help you with that day or with that chapter. And it really goes along with my book, the first book, 366 Days of Recovery, My First Year in Recovery, A Guide for the Recovering Person. You can get that book from me or the 365 days book, all you have to do is contact me through Messenger or my Facebook, and I will give you all the details on how you obtain the book. So let's get into uh, our 21 point manual, and today we're on chapter nine, and I'm gonna read it from my notes so that you don't be confused. No, I can't memorize all of that, but I'm gonna read from my notes and then we'll get into a description of what this means. So chapter nine is very important, it discusses your willingness to do service work. As I explained in my first book, service work uh, consists of making coffee, setting up the room, placing tables and chairs in order, actually becoming the chairperson of a meeting, a secretary, treasurer, group service rep, working on the area level or the regional level. Trust me, service work helps you to get involved. For many, many years, I was the coffee maker. Now, the coffee maker is the most important person and why we're all important, but let me explain why the coffee person is most important because he's the first one there. Because you got to make the coffee. You got to get the coffee going. So you got to get there a little early, a little earlier than everyone else and so that you can get the coffee brewing. And so once you get the coffee made, uh, you can go to the secretary or the treasurer and let them know what supplies might be needed. You may be out of cups, you may be out of sugar, you may be out of cream, you may be out of uh, coffee or tea or cocoa, whatever your group uh, decides that they like to drink. Sometimes there's water, you know, uh, you can get a little, you know, uh, uh, thermos to put your water in, you know, ice and things of this nature. So the coffee maker is responsible for keeping up with the supplies as it pertains to the refreshments. And from time to time, you know, depending on uh, their uh, financial ability, sometimes they'll bring donuts or cookies or things of that nature, or other members will donate coffee or, uh, uh, or coffee or donuts or cookies or things of that nature. So their donations are accepted too. Some meetings, when they're first starting off, don't have the financial stability at some of the other bigger meetings. Some of the bigger meetings, some of them have two coffee pots. Why? Because of the attendance at these meetings. So the coffee maker is really, really busy. And, you know, for the most part, they like it, you know, because they're involved. You know, it makes them feel good. Their recovery is still going as they're watching people enjoy, enjoy a cup of coffee as they share their strength, hope and experience as it pertains to their recovery. So every position is important and you have to look around, you know, you're new, 
you look around and, and, and you make a decision. Get with your sponsor. See what you're willing to do because these positions require you to have good attendance. Yes, you need to be there for every minute, or the coffee maker, most definitely. But if you're the chairperson, you must be at the meeting because you open the meeting up and you give all of the, the directions as it's based on what your group has decided how they want their format, how their meeting format, how they want it to go. And so the chairperson is important also because they open up the meeting. Uh, the chairperson uh, passes out the, the readings, you know, they passes them out, put them out, you know, anonymous, anonymously on the table. And so if you sit at that spot, <laughs> then uh, that means that you're uh, willing to read uh, that reading. So, you know, it's really, really, really simple. You know, the secretary takes notes. We know that's what most secretaries do in meetings. They take notes of what transpired. And so once a month is the group meeting. And that's when, you know, the secretary is vital because they have to take the minutes of what went on in that meeting. And so that's when the group decides what they're going to donate to group, to area, because we have to keep the you know area running so each group donates money from their seven traditions. And so I'm gonna get into seven traditions a little deeper, but seven traditions is really the money that's collected at the meetings. And so at a point in the meeting, uh, something is passed around for the seven traditions to be placed in. And so at the end, when it gets back to the treasurer, they count it all out they let somebody else verify that this is the amount, and then the treasurer writes it in the book. So then that's when the meeting, they decide. Let's say they collect $10. They say, well, we want to give area five. So they give five area five. So anyway, these records have to be kept, and they have to be correct. And so you want a treasurer that's responsible. I mean, we're addicts. We're dealing with addiction. And so, you know, you get four or $500, and it's like, ah, I think I'll disappear, get a pipe, and get high. And, you know, no, nah, you want somebody that's uh, responsible. And if they do spend the money, uh, you know, and this happened many, many, many times, if they do spend the money, they're able to replace it. That's the key, that they can replace the money. So we're going to stop right there. And service work is important. And so next week, we're going to get into another aspect of the 21 point manual all of it is going in order so i want you to have a great one uh, go tell family friends go to youtube subscribe addiction solutions with roselle so glad that you guys could join me i appreciate you so much love you and look forward to seeing you next week goodbye